Hello everyone, in this episode, we will show you how to write your own bash script that will update your Kali Linux machine to the latest version, installing all the latest packages and libraries. We will also show you how to let the script log everything so you can trace back for any issues and create a cron job so it can automatically run at a specific time after your machine boots up, all in a cool rainbow color. This episode will let you learn how to automate your own bash script to perform a task at a given time, which is updating your Kali Linux, you will get to use and chain commands like figlet, lolcat, tron, piping, and some bash commands all at once. So what is bash? Bash is a command language interpreter. It is widely available on various operating systems and is a default command interpreter on most Linux systems. The name is an acronym for the born again shell. What is shell? Shell is a macro processor which allows for an interactive or non-interactive command execution. And what is scripting? Scripting allows for an automatic command's execution that would otherwise be executed interactively one by one. So we'll show you how using bash scripting will update our Kali Linux machine in a really smart and useful way. Since every day there are new libraries and updates that you must follow up in order to keep always a smooth operation using your Kali machine. So the first thing we'll look at is create a shell script for the Linux update. The second thing we'll look at is schedule cron jobs for updating the script. And the third thing we'll look at is set a function to autosave logs. So let's jump in. So as you can see, we're going to start by creating a script. We're going to call it kaliupdate.sh. So first we're going to start typing to the right side. We have also another terminal but we'll use both of them in order to simulate how things are going to work. So you can test on the right side and then you can write it on the left side, which is your final script. So we're using figlet and you can enter any name you want here. So figlet will create a nice effect out of the text that you give it. As you can see from here, we have generated the effect that you can see from here. So figlet also supports lots of functions as well. You can edit it and create more things such as the way you're going to display the font in a specific type. So in order to do this, we're going to show you one more trick in order to enhance the way it's going to look. And we'll add just the following parameter, which starts with minus F and then called with slant. So as you can see, S L A and T before actually the word or the text that you want to give it is going to create a different effect as you can see from here. So now that we are ready for this, we're going to copy paste it on the left side on the script and then we're going to pipe it with lolcat. So lolcat is going to create the coloring rainbow effect whenever you pipe it or pipe a text through lolcat. As you can see from here, it has created a really cool looking rainbow color on the text that we gave it. So now we're going to move to the giving the commands actually to update your Kali Linux. So apt update minus y. So minus y you add it in order not to ask questions and it will automatically answer yes to anything. And then you pipe it with lolcat, followed with end end, and the following command. So every time you want to add a command, you can see from here, you just add the end end followed with a command, minus y to answer all the questions, piping to the next one. And you can create exactly as we wrote here the commands, which will create a multi-script and chain commands in order to update completely your Kali Linux machine. So it's important to have it right because you have to pipe everything if you want all the colors to show up using lolcat on each line. So now that you can see completely the script, you can go ahead as well and start typing it in order to prepare it. We're going to now break it down and we're going to add some text in order to inform the user when the Kali Linux has started or finished the update. So as you can see, towards the end of the script, it says update has been complete. Enjoy. And now we're going to save this script and we're going to just run it. As you can see from here, it has created the script Kali underscore update dot sh. In order to run it, you have to give it chmod plus x and then followed by the name of the script in order to be executed. So if we execute the script right now, it's going to actually perform exactly what it's designed to perform. As you can see, it started quickly updating with colors, the complete Kali Linux, followed by all of the commands that we gave it. So it's important to test it. As you can see, we're going to re-edit it and start showing you how you can actually add a log file in order to log 
everything in it. So since we're creating a bash script, the most important command is the following. You have to always add the specific command on the top of the script before anything. It's going to tell actually your script where your bash scripting is going to be executed. Where is your default actually bash script? So followed by clear, it's going to clear everything before that. Now we're going to show you how to create a log file so that it can log everything that it does for you, including the time it has done it. So in order to do this, as you can see, you have to start typing log file equal, and then you have to specify the directory and the file that you want it to save all of the log files into. So the default one is under var log. And if we actually go to the specific location, this is where actually Kali Linux stores all of the log files. So this means that everything that is going to run within the script is going to actually save it in a specific location. Now we're going to show you how to actually create a date before each line of the log file. So as you know, you give it DT equal all of the signs that you can see from here, which is date. You're actually calling the date function and we're programming the day, month and year, followed by the hours and the time. And this will actually log every time that it's going to be updating one line as you're going to see later on. So now that we finished creating the function of date, we're going to create an echo minus O as you will see from here. And we're going to log the user, which is the user that is going to run the script, followed by the text Kali update. And then we're going to save everything into the log file that we will create. So this means that we are defining every time a log is going to take place, the name of the user that is using it, and it's going to save everything in a log file that we created. This is why we have created the dollar sign. So echo with empty brackets, as you can see from here, is going to just create a space before actually running the figlet. We're going to create a user friendly notification informing the user that it's updating Kali Linux. Please wait. So now that we have the structure of the code, we've also set up the log file where it needs to save. We also have added the dating structure. We're going to break down the commands and log each one separately. In order to do this, we're going to pipe everything and we're going to use another command called T minus A. And then we're going to give it the log file that we have created earlier. So just like this, we're going to break each command down and we're going to do the same for each one. This means every line is going to be logged in the log file using T. So to understand what's going on, first it's starting with opt update minus Y. It's going to accept all of the questions. Then it's piping into lolcat, which is going to create the rainbow color effect, followed with double and sign, and then another pipe, followed by T command minus A to log everything into the log file that we created. So technically, this little bash script code is going to update everything. And at the same time, it's going to log every command, all of the status at the time that it has done it. So this is really great because now we are chaining commands. We have also understood how to break down the code. As you can see from here, we've set a date and everything should look great until the time that we're going to test it so that we can make sure that everything is working as programmed. So you feel free as well to modify it and add some of the other things. This is the structure of the bash script that is going to perform all of the updates for you. And it's going to log everything into a log file in the directory that we gave it. So this looks really complete now and we're going to test it. And we're going to also show you if it's going to log everything that we've done. So make sure to fix this command here, which is apt auto clean before auto clean in order to run correctly. So everything now looks ready. We're going to save the script and we're going to run it and we're going to show you if it's going to create the log file that we just created. So as you can see, each line, it's showing you the colors using lolcat. There is actually nothing that is showing from the log file, but it has automatically created it in the background. In order to show you this, we have actually opened the log file and you've seen all of the log that took place. So this was really great and we're going to create now a cron job in order to create a specific timing of when we want it to run. So using the cron tab command, which is very known in Linux, we're going to give it every 30 minutes and we're going to specify exactly when we want the script to be loaded. So this is very easy. And if you know cron tab, we've just added the specific script. It's going to be running every 30 minutes. Make sure to restart the specific service for the cron which is going to allow for the rule that we created to take place. 
So let's say you're rebooting your machine. And as soon as you reboot it, as you noticed, we had created the value 30. Now we're going to tail the log file, which is the log file of the Kali update that we created. So tailing allows you to look real time whenever a file is taking or dumping a log. It's going to show you in real time below. So as you can see, we have created the specific run tab and you can see tail below. So as soon as the script is going to run, it should be able to show us that it's going to log the timing, the user and the text Kali update on the bottom. So here we go. We're going to recreate it and we're going to wait for 22 minutes, as you can see from here. So this cron tab is going to create another one. As you can see from the status, it's running correctly. And every 22 minutes, whenever your machine is going to boot, it's going to display, as you can see from the bottom line of the terminal, we're tailing the Kali update.log in order to show us exactly the status of the specific update and the job that is performed. This is very important because whenever your Kali machine is booting up, you want to give it a few seconds first until all the services run. And then you know that it's going to perform the cron job that you gave it which is the script that is going to update your Kali machine to the latest version, keeping a log file in case something went wrong so that you can go back and investigate from the log file. So we're keeping also the user. And this is very important because sometimes many users are using it and you can pinpoint exactly when. As you can see from here, it has added a line. 11, 22, 13 seconds was the log file running in the background specifically updating your machine without even displaying anything in the front end as you can see from the upper terminal. So thank you to all our patrons on this channel on Patreon. Patreon is a different and separate platform from YouTube where you can find exclusive content that you cannot find anywhere else. You can ask us anything in our Q&A sessions, be the first to vote on our next episodes throughout our polls, and get exclusive hacking videos twice a month. Check the link in the description for more info. Thank you for watching and as always, until next time.